Hey there YouTube, um, today I was gonna make a quick tutorial on list box. So I got really cool stuff in here. I got add items, I got remove item, and I got save list and load list. So basically this program is very simple. The add item adds the item in the text box to a list box. And the remove item removes the selected item in the list box. And the save list saves the list in the somewhere in C drive or you can specify our own location and load list basically loads the text file into your list box so this is a really cool program so I will just run you through the codes so if you double click on add item add item it's this one here um, so for this code is really simple all you gotta do is type in lb1 which is the list box one dot text oh sorry the items dot add and then in the parentheses type in <coughs> tb1 dot text which is the text box one dot text and that's how you do it and there's one more thing once you once you add the add the item to the list box it is it is not automatically highlighted but you can do with the following code all you have to do is type in lb1 dot selected index equals lb1 dot selected index plus one that's how simple it is so in in the remove item it's same as it's pretty much same as the add item but there is a little bit different in here all you have to do is type in lb1 dot items dot remove and in the parentheses you have to type in lb1 dot selected item this removes the selected item only and then that's it and then in the save list this is kind of hard hard stuff for you guys so but I'll provide the link for the codes in the description as well on the right hand side so it's just in the save command you have to first define a variable in this instance I'll just choose W as new ir dot stream writer then in the parentheses you have to specify a location to save your list box items to a text file such as you can make it C drive and then you can basically oh there is a cool stuff in here I'll show you in a sec you can you can create a directory in your computer using this code io dot directory dot create directory this is a very cool code I use it all the time so just go C drive and then so say test you want to create a folder called test and then that creates the folder called test as soon as you click on the link save dot save save button and yeah um so this in this we can change this to test and then you can create a file inside it called test dot txt and then you have to define another variable called it's a loop actually 
dim i as integer and then you use a loop for loop for i equals 0 to to lb1 which is list box 1 dot items dot count minus 1 then w dot right line And then in here you have to type in lb1 dot items dot item i which we already defined in the loop yeah and the after the next you just you just type in w dot close it is very important that you have to close the statement before you can actually run the program otherwise it will give give an error in the runtime so that's closed now that's done we can now write the coding for the load list button this is pretty much similar but that's more complicated than saving the text file so in this code all we basically gonna do is type in we're gonna use while loop and we have to first define a variable called r as new io dot stream reader this time because we're reading the text file then we have to specify the same file exactly the same file you can copy from the save coding command and then yeah but you have to be exactly the same as the file you're saving so test.txt that's what we saved and then while while r dot peak is less than minus one it's less than minus one lb1 dot items dot add and in the bracket you have to type in r dot read line and then once again remember to close it always always remember to close it r dot close that's it we done save the whole thing We'll debug it for you and let's see how it goes. So now when you run the program, it looks like this. And you can basically add a whole bunch of stuff in here, like make a shopping list, your parties, your friends' names, and whatever you want. So basically, I'm just going to type in anything right now. Hello. And then see, as soon as you enter the enter the item to the list box, it automatically highlights the last item you added. Um, and then click on Add Item. See, it's highlight automatically. Then you can remove item as well by selecting items. And then you can save the whole list by clicking on save list uh, I'll show you quickly in my C drive how it looks like so I'm in my C drive right now and go to test folder test.txt and that's how that's what we get so I close this quickly and show you and you can delete all all these items and then you click on load list Oh yeah, sorry guys, I made a mistake. I run into an error because I put this r dot close on the top in here. It's, instead, it should be down here after the end while. Yeah, so I just fixed. And if this time we already saved the list last time, and then we just click on load 